Welcome aboard Sea Isle. People have asked us for quite a while for a tour of our boat, and today's the day. We're giving you the grand tour, so come on in. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Sea Isle Life. I'm Andrea. This is Tom, and we have two pups. We're a couple of Texas transplants living the empty nest life to the fullest. For us, that's living part-time on our 44-foot de fever trawler in San Diego. Our hope is that as you join us on our dreams and adventures, we'll inspire you to discover your own. Gotta be careful on these steps. We know what can happen when you're not, and that's a future episode. Rosie, are you coming in on the tour? Are you gonna show everybody your boat? Well, welcome aboard. This is a 1988 De Fever 44 trawler. It is a full displacement trawler. And what that means for those of you that aren't familiar with trawlers is that it pushes the water out of the way. So this boat won't plane even if it had a 500 horsepower outboard on the back of it. So it's a smooth ride. It likes to go low and slow. It's 4,400 pounds gross weight. The beam is 14 feet nine inches and the total length is a little over 44 feet with the swim step. The Fever trawler was built in Kaohsiung, Taiwan in the CTF yard which is one of the best yards out there. So we're hull number 78 as you can see and also another prized possession are Wyland over here for those uh, west coasters and people that live in Hawaii know who Wyland is so I'm a big fan of sea otters. I, uh, one of my majors was marine biology in school. This is one of my favorite parts of the DeFever 44 because really it has almost all the conveniences that I have at home minus a few but I'd like to show it to you. So there's lots of storage room and counter space. This is a pantry um, where we keep a lot of our glassware. I have full sets of wine glasses, champagne flutes, everything you can imagine. There's room for it here, which is pretty handy because we entertain a lot. Um, it has more cabinets here. I keep, well, I'll just show you. Up here, we keep our coffee cups and our bowls and this is sort of an extended area of the pantry. And we keep all our puppy stuff up top. It's got great drawers. Um, down here is where I keep pots and pans and also some appliances. Now I have two crock pots that I use all the time. I've got one of them going right now with uh, something for dinner for later. And then like I said, the counter space is great. It's very large. and. This is our little coffee bar, and it's doubling right now as a crock pot bar. Every morning we just enjoy coffee from our Nespresso, and it's the perfect size for this size of a boat. This right here, this is one of my favorite things. When I'm entertaining, I can pass food through the window. It's really handy. And then I also have another window here, which is just great because it's warm sometimes and this just gives a nice breeze. I have to mention this beautiful plant here. My husband got that for me, honey. I don't even know when it was. It's been at least two years. And there have been times when we've, like when COVID started, where we were away from the boat for several weeks. And I come back and by golly, this thing has survived every single time. One of my other favorite things about the galley is this because I can be in here cooking and still converse with whoever happens to be over in the salon and pass things through. Got a separate kitchen, and yet at the same time, it's part of an open floor plan. There's one more thing I wanna show you that helps me out here in the galley. Over here is a hatch, and I use this hatch. We have hatches all over this boat, but I use this one the most because it's right by the kitchen. And I keep paper towels. We've got a fire extinguisher. It's pretty messy in there, but you know, red solo cups, plastic forks and knives, what have you. It's a big hatch. It goes very deep. All right, let's talk about really the best place in any boat, and it's the bar area. Okay, are you kidding me? This is where the magic happens. It's fun to invite people over and have a little sundowner or a little happy hour, a little uh, Sunday cheer in the morning. We like to make uh, Bloody Marys. So this is uh, not sponsored, but this is one of our favorite new gins called Grey Whale Gin. Love the bottle on that. We have side-by-side -side Norcold uh, refrigerator freezers in here. Original equipment and uh, they're still lasting. So 
We hope they last a little bit longer. And then uh, one of my favorite things I fell in love with right off the bat are these parquet floors. It reminded me of the Boston Garden. Love it, and that's throughout. We had carpet originally in this. The previous owners, God bless them, they were wonderful and they added so many nice amenities, but they covered this beautiful flooring and uh, we immediately ripped out the carpet and uh, uncovered all this beauty, so, and added some area rugs. This is the salon. And this is a really good size salon. I like it a lot. We can entertain a number of people in here. It's got the built-in settee or sofa, and underneath the cushions is a huge hatch for even more storage. And we've got our TV over here for now. We're actually about to mount that. And we're still deciding where it's gonna go, whether it's gonna be in the left or in the middle. Um, but that's gonna free up some space up there and make it look less cluttered. Now, the Defever 44 originally came with what I would call a gigantic table. And it took up a huge part of the boat. Well, I can tell you how big the table was because the owner who had our boat previously decided it was just too large and unwieldy and so he cut it in half. And then he took half of it and he mounted it right here. And this actually folds down if we want more space but I don't know if we've ever even folded it down. We use this all the time. This is our kitchen table. Now when the um, previous owner cut the table in half, what he did was make a brand new table for right here. And we're gonna show that to you all in just a little bit because just a month ago or so, we had some friends over and we were trying to be safer for COVID. So we decided we wanted to be upstairs in the flybridge instead of all hanging out down here. So we took that table up there and the next day we looked at each other and said, wow, this space is so much bigger without the table and we always need a table up there. So we just got this cute little coffee table that works just fine for having a small table to put you know, your coffee on and uh, at the same time not taking up a ton of space. One of our dogs, Rosie, the spunky one, is a Karen Terrier and I found this funniest picture that I just love on our boat. It is a sperm whale with a Karen Terrier on it, smoking a pipe. Rosie would never smoke, but it's fun. And then a, this is the barometer and the clock. Over here are two chairs we purchased after we bought the boat. It can be a little tricky. You have to find chairs that fit through a door to get on the boat. And these fit the bill, they're comfortable, have this nice little ottoman. And back here, believe it or not, are even more hatches. In fact, we have so many hatches on this boat, we don't even use all of them. Okay, I'm gonna take you through the lower helm area. First, I have to point this out. This is a Weems and Plath uh, kerosene lantern. I'm sure that they used these in the 1700s and 1800s. It's gimbaled, so if you're a rockin', it's not gonna fall over and catch the boat on fire. I don't think the design has changed at all in uh, hundreds and hundreds of years. This of course is a picture of sailing Delos. So it's great to have these doors on either side just so you can single hand and look out. You can throw ropes to people, check the weather, have your buddy pass you a beer on the next boat if you're uh, in your slip. <laughs> so we do have a cool little uh, fireplace here. And uh, don't look at that rusty fan over there, but that's uh, part of our AC unit as well. <laughs> Um, up here, just added a new uh, VHF. This, don't even think about trying to break in our boat because we have an alarm system from 1988. Actually, we don't know how to use that. We actually have um, Arlo cameras all over now, which are really wonderful and easy to use. Awesome! So just going through uh, some of the lower helm real quick. We have 2,500 hours on these engines, the Ford Lehman engines. I'll talk about more of those when we get down in the engine room. Everything is redundant, pretty much that whatever we have below, we have above. In fact, we actually have more things above than we do down here. This is, I never drove the boat from down here, or skippered the boat, I should say, but um, we would only do that in inclement weather. Here's a shot of the Ford Lehman uh, control switches over there. These are the NIAD stabilizer um, controls for the lower helm. And what our stabilizers do, it's an addition, and it's a nice addition to have. It's like, picture a whale with giant flippers, right? Like a humpback whale moving its flippers um, ever so gently to improve its glide. Well, the same thing, you do not want roll. Pitch is okay, so pitch is like this on a boat. You don't want roll, so when the waves 
hit the boat and hit the beam, it uh, prevents that. So it makes small adjustments so you don't get as much roll on the boat and it takes away from so seasickness. I, yay, so no one will bark. Nobody will bark. No barfing on the boat. And our Richie compass down here at the lower helm. Here's our chart drawer. Not a lot of charts in here, but hey, don't judge. You know everybody has a catch-all drawer in their house or somewhere. One last thing before we go below. So we have giant hatches, so anything that needs to be removed from the engine room can come through these hatches. Um, and they both open up for a large space um, if you need to pull the engines out or the washer dryer down there. This is our V berth when we have company that comes to visit. This is, this is where they call home for the weekend and it's called a V berth because as you can see, it looks like a V, but it also has an insert that fits right here so that this becomes one big bed. And you know, people make different decisions. Sometimes a couple will sleep with both their heads at that end and others will sleep with both their heads at this end. But so far we've been told it's pretty comfy. I love the wood detailing of our V-Birth. I think it's just really pretty. Now our V-Birth also has its own head, which is nice for our guests. And it's got what's called, what well, came with what's called a wet shower. Um, our previous owners went ahead and just put a hose attachment there. And it's a, it's a nice little extra head to have on the boat. We have more storage down here. This is our doggy storage area. Two great closets, cedar. This used to be the coat closet, but recently we took someone on a trip with us and we had them put their clothes here. Hey, anyone have a hankering for some fish sticks? Love our Gordon's Fisherman art. And you thought only mega yachts have wine cellars. Look at that. Actually, it's a wine closet and uh, you always need to have some red on board. Okay, we're about to go in the engine room. This is a watertight bulkhead door and uh, it's got a little window in it. So make sure there's no smoke, fire before you enter into there like that. Make sure everything's okay. And I wish I had one of those big wheels that used to spin on a ship, but it does uh, have this mechanism that turns. Anybody ever been on Pirates of the Caribbean where they have that talking head above you and says, dead men tell no tales? Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> and you go, whoa, down here. All right, more to come. Come on in, watch your head. Because I banged that a few times. Anyone about 5'8 can stand fully upright in this engine room. Okay, a couple features as you walk down in here. We have an air compressor over here to help with our tools and we have some air hoses where we could dive below the boat to clean it. A 4,400 watt inverter over here. Two sparkly Ford Lehman engines, 135 horsepower. Washer dryers down here. Here's our fire boy extinguisher system that you can control from the lower helm. Back here is our fuel transfer switches. We will be doing a full engine tour in a future episode. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see. So come on down and check out the aft cabin. This is where we sleep. We love our big and comfy aft cabin. It is a full beam. It has a queen size bed that's super comfy. We got a new mattress for it after we got the boat. Um, I love the, t the two big windows because since we don't have AC, it just gives us all the comfort we need. Honestly, I can hardly remember a night where it was too warm in here since we're in San Diego. And we also, of course, have all of these other windows on both sides. This is an F cabin made for a woman because it has this amazing little vanity with a pull-out stool. I use this every single day to put in my makeup, and it's got excellent storage inside with shelves on both sides. We have cedar lined closets. There's several of them down here. And inside, there's actually, we hung some shoe bags here. So there's room for a lot of clothes, if I'm honest. There are two built-in bedside tables with drawers and then a couple more closets over here lots more drawers there and then over here we have a walk-in closet 
with more drawers and cabinets. Hey, thanks for joining us today on our tour of our 1988 DeFever 44 trawler. Hopefully you had a lot of fun along with us. If you have any comments about anything you saw today, leave them below and we'll get back to you or we'll cover them in a future episode. Hopefully our tour showed you why we love the DeFever so much. It's just so livable. It's like a floating condo almost. So I hope that you will subscribe to our channel so you'll find out when future episodes drop that you'll also give us a thumbs up and perhaps even leave us a comment and let us know what kind of things you'd like us to share in the future. I think it's time for a sundowner. Definitely time for a sundowner. Be sure to catch part two of our tour in the next episode. We'll show you the outside of our fever. It's what made us fall in love at first sight. 